What's going on YouTube? Jade Antastic here and today I wanted to talk about some E3 predictions. I know there's a lot of buzz around E3 right now. Things like, I think the Xbox One is going to be better. No way man, it's totally going to be the PS4. And there's just all kinds of like fanboy stuff of going back and forth about who's doing it better, who's going to do it better. And I'm going to kind of give you a breakdown of what I think might happen slash who's doing it better. And then I kind of want you guys to, you know, discuss and think about who you want to do better, who you think is going to do better. And right now I think the biggest problem is, is everybody's just way too caught up in the, you know, like harping on the consoles right now and, and harping on the companies for like what they're doing. And, and I think that we're starting to lose sight of like what's actually going on, and like the big stuff that's happening. And I, I mean, I know there's some stuff that, that we're going to be unhappy about, but that's just, you know, changes that we have to deal with. So what are you going to do? So let's get to what we came here for, E3, E3 predictions. I'm not really going to talk about what games I think are going to come out and, and things like that yet. I'm going to save that for another video because there's a lot of time left. We have like this whole week and then E3 starts next week. So I just want to start a debate on who you think is going to come out better at E3. Like who you think is going to come out stronger, who's going to release you know, the most information about their games, who's going to come out with the better games. I Like, again, I think it's going to be Microsoft. I know that the PS4 and Sony, you know, they haven't really released a lot of information about the game, so all of that's still kind of under wraps. So they could, you know, jump straight up from the bottom and skyrocket to the top, and, and all of their stuff can be really cool and really exciting and really awesome, and that's fine. But I think, you know, because Microsoft kind of, kind of gave us a peek, and uh, well, it was like 15 exclusive titles or something like that, and... and so many of them are like brand new. And that's so exciting to me because it's it's great to like to see these new games and and see them coming up with new stuff. I really hope that not all of them are first person shooters. You know, I, I really hope that they try to branch out because I'm not over first person shooters. I'm absolutely not. I'm I'm pumped for Ghost. I know a lot of people are hating on it. They're they're over the Call of Duty series. I'm not. I'm one of the few, I guess, that that really enjoys playing Call of Duty games for the storylines. So I'm excited to see where they take Ghosts. I'm, you know, I'm really excited to see where it goes and what they do with it, and if they do try to change the gameplay because for so long they've been harped on that that all the Call of Duty games are they they, they just play the exact same and it's never different. So I'm really excited for that. I know that they're they're both gonna just do it really well. They always do, but. You know, that's just where I stand. I'm sure the PS4 is going to have its share of great games. I know that Microsoft is going to have its share of great games. But kind of the, the whole purpose of this question and, and the, the question that I want to ask here at the end is, what do you guys think? Right now, it, who's going to do better at E3? Is Microsoft going to do better and release, you know, the, the better information, the better games to get people more hyped up? Or is Sony going to do that? And if you want to have a console war right here in the comments section, right down there, you go right ahead. You do all that you want to do. But what I'm more concerned about, what I really want to know, is how you guys feel who's going to handle E3 the best. Because, you know, I think that's the biggest question right now. E3 is the next step, and it's it's really going to be the deciding factor in, in the choices that a lot of people make when it's time to buy a console. So let me know how you guys feel. Let me know if I'm crazy because Sony is going to be, you know, the one that takes the cake and they're going to be the ones that just do it big and, and run away with everything and that's going to be awesome and great. I You know what? More power to them. I hope they do. I hope that they just both are trying so hard to put the, the other one in the dust that every everyone wins and it's just amazing and everyone's like, oh my gosh, I have to have a PS4 and an Xbox One. Like, that would blow me away. That would make that would make me so happy because I'm I'm just a gamer at heart. So like I really just I just want the industry to grow and I want everything good to happen. I would never root for like Sony to have a bad day. That's like no one wins in that situation. So I hope that Sony comes out with a really strong presentation. I hope Microsoft comes out with a really strong presentation. But right now, I'm saying that Microsoft is going to have a better E3 presentation, and, and that's just where I stand. So let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Hit me up on Twitter, at JadeAntastic. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get a discussion going. There's going to be more videos coming around E3 and E3 information and news and my thoughts and stuff. Hopefully, I get to go check out E3. I don't know if that's going to happen yet, but we'll see, and obviously, I'll keep you guys all up to date on that. For now, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I'm crazy. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you think the Wii U is going to make a magic comeback. Whatever it takes. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Jade Antastic. Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later.